Hello. Uh, thanks to all of you for the hard work last week. I am elated to report that everyone finished the first assignment. Kudos. I have posted a points and percentages as grades in the Grade Center with rather extensive comments. The comments are rather candid and are intended to be helpful as we move forward. Most of you may be a bit disappointed, or many of you may be a bit disappointed, and I do promise to be easier and more generous with points going forward. We can always drop the uh, first set of grades. But there are several important points that are best uh, communicated through honest feedback at the beginning. These points are also best communicated through low-stake assignments on the discussion forum rather than on the high-stakes assignments for the first time. Source 310, Foundations of Sociological Theory, is a very difficult course. You cannot possibly do all of the readings assigned, and you cannot possibly understand all the concepts and ideas presented. You are reading excerpts from the works of people who were singularly recognized in their historical periods, for their contributions to sociology. Most of them wrote 20 or 30 books at least, and all of us ordinary folks stretch it to understand and build on the ideas of just a one or two of them. The best strategy is to read through the material and then hunker down on, with some real determination on the mastery of one or two ideas, craft a thoughtful first post, proofread it before finalizing what you wish to communicate and how you wish to say it. The same is true for comments to peers. Every instructor is different, but here I want to see quality, a genuine and thoughtful effort to read through the work of one or two peers and engage him or her in a discussion on a point of mutual interest toward the goal of clarifying fine points and developing a more profound understanding of the readings. One sentence or two word comments do not serve the purpose. Partner up for breadth as well. Only a couple of you have commented on the mode of the discussion, but I do think it will do better if we have two separate threads for two groups. These are not separated by walls or armed borders or even electronic barricades as, the case, as is the case with your wiki groups. On the discussion board, these will be informal categories for convenience to help you focus. You can read and post in a different group on the discussion board if you wish than the group to which you're assigned. Finally, select your topic for the final paper early. Remember, the essay and final paper will count as 60% of your final grade. Each discussion counts 2%. Even if you make an F on every discussion, and I'm not suggesting that this is a good idea, you will lose 10 points on your final grade unless you, earn, unless you do absolutely nothing and then earn zero grades. The discussions should help you. They should build your confidence and prepare you for more serious writing and your papers. Contact me with individual questions or ask questions of a more generous, general nature on the Ask Your Professor forum. All good wishes for a successful term and for a successful week too.